Hey, rip me out the plastic. I'm feeling brand new. Ain't that what the kids saying nowadays? Hello, my bestie boo. Your girl been shopping. Okay. Your girl been shopping. Probably shouldn't be shopping, but your girl been shopping. I have a and few I have of the new releases that just came out recently, and I want to share them with y'all, of course, because I love y'all so much. And I'm so excited about these releases. Oh my goodness. Um, a couple of them I didn't know about until right before they were released. And of course, I had to grab them. You know me. A few and of them I already knew about, and I was waiting and waiting and waiting for them to come out. And then I finally got them. I should have made this video a week ago or more. I know I'm a little bit late, but hey, better late than never, right? If you enjoy okay. people who keep it real, if you enjoy people who keep it positive and who keep it pushing, then this is the place for you. By the way, please, please like, share, subscribe, comment. At this point, if you hate the sound of my voice or you want to punch me in the face, go ahead and click the dislike button, okay? It all helps me out. So let's get into it. Now this fragrance, I have been waiting for it to come out for about a month. It had been hyped up so much on all the platforms and some of the Facebook groups that I follow. And I like the original version of this fragrance, but people were getting it on Facebook and like showing the pictures of it. I'm like, I want it. I want it too, girl. Where's mine, right? But it hadn't came out. And um, the store is out where I'm at and here in LA or it's not out. It wasn't out where I shop in LA because I was looking everywhere. And this is... Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream. And the original Sweet Tooth is a sweet, marshmallowy, chocolatey perfume that I absolutely love. It's it's a pink um, bottle and I love that one so much. And this one was set to come out, but there was no release date. But people were getting it all over Instagram and all over Facebook. Look at this little thing. Isn't it cute? It looks like a chocolate bar, just like the original one. Um, but yeah, this one only comes in one ounce as far as I could tell. It actually just released, I want to say, about two or three days ago. I forget the date. Let me find the date for you. This actually just released this date. And it was released at Walmart online and in stores. And it was coming out. A few people already had it. And they kept showing pictures. So I was stalking at Walmart. I was going to that Walmart every day. I was hitting up a few Walmarts, going looking at the perfume section, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Nobody had it online. So I was like, where are y'all getting this perfume from? Because I know I have been searching for it and I can't find it at all. But I finally got it. It was finally announced and released. And look at her. So this is um the bottle. It looks like a little chocolate bar. And this is what it looks like. It's the sprayer. Now let's smell her, okay? Let's smell her. I've already smelt it. So, this is described as a sweet citrus, powdery, vanilla, caramel, woody fragrance, okay? So, it's definitely sweet. I smell the caramel a bit, but I smell that chocolate even more. It has a little bit of almond in it as well, and I absolutely love it. It. I'm just going to tell you right now, I absolutely love it. So the top notes are almond milk, sugar, lemon, orange, freesia, vanilla, dark chocolate, orange blossom orchid. Uh, those were the middle notes as well. The bottom notes are the base notes is musk, caramel, amber, patchouli, and sandalwood. Now this one is not a small fragrance by any means. Neither is the original Sweet Tooth, the one in the pink um, container. But it's really soft. It's very chocolatey. This one, I smell the caramel more than the chocolate. The original, I smell marshmallow and chocolate. This one, I smell caramel. I smell dark chocolate. I smell the almond milk. I smell the um, the uh, patchouli just a tiny bit. I don't smell a lot of patchouli. I'm not the biggest fan of patchouli. If you watch my videos, you know I'm not the biggest fan, girl. But I do think that patchouli helps fragrances last longer and it gives it a deepness that they otherwise would not have had. And this one I sprayed at seven o'clock this morning. It's now one o'clock, so what's that, girl? Uh, seven. Yes, I count on my fingers sometimes. <laughs> so six hours ago, I sprayed this one 
here in the crease of my arm. Let's see. I still smell her a tiny bit. Like I said, that's been uh, about six hours ago and it's really faint. Now, I would say the projection on this one is about a four. It's not beast mode. It's more of a skin scent. And I can see myself wearing this probably to bed or if I'm going to be at an intimate um place with small group of people maybe someone's home chilling on the couch playing games something like that this is light enough where it won't be offensive to people it smells great you're going to get tons of compliments on this but people are going to have to be really close to you so again this is not beast mode projection is very light but it's so pretty it's definitely worth it it's inexpensive and she is in my collection now i wish it came in a bigger size as far as i know it only comes in the one ounce I'm sad. I'm so sad. So I guess I'm gonna have to get me a couple of them because I really, really, really love this fragrance. And it is so good and girly and soft and sweet and chocolatey and all of those wonderful things. Okay. So this is Serena Carpenter's Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream. Now this one, I heard that it was coming out as well. It's also a flanker of an, of an original fragrance house. It's an Arabian fragrance. And y'all know I love me some Arabian fragrances, okay? They give you bang for your buck. They smell great. A lot of them smell great. Um, some of them, you have to be careful with Arabian fragrances because some of the notes can get kind of out there. Um, but this one, I love the original version of this. It smells so good. It's probably in my top 10 for life. Um, but this one is more of a tropical version of that one. And when I first heard it was coming out, I was super excited because like I said, I love the original version. And because it came out like or like about probably about a month ago or so for the summertime, it's perfect for the summertime. It's a tropical fragrance. And this is, it's still in the box, girl, because I wanted to share with y'all Yara Tooth. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yara T-O-U-S. Yara Tooth. And I love the sound of that. I'm sorry if that annoys y'all. <laughs> but this is her. Look at this. Yara Tooth. So Yara Tooth is described as a tropical mango, fruity, sweet, vanilla, powdery fragrance. Okay, the notes are coconut, mango, passion fruit. Jasmine Heliotrope Orange Blossom, Vanilla Cashmere, and Musk. And I have already smelled her, obviously. But look at the top. It's just like the original Yara, the pink one that I love so much. I, I think I've talked about that a couple of times. Um, the original Yara is pink. There's another one that's white. It's not my favorite. Um, and then this is the orange or yellow golden rod, whatever you want to call it, girl. I'm not a professional for it. Uh, a color expert okay but this one is the tropical version of that it is summertime baby okay this is going to jamaica land on the beach this is on the virgin islands uh running around with a, a mango smoothie and you put some rum in it and you you chilling girl you chilling that's this one so i smell let's spray her let's spray her let's get into it girl let's see At first, it's very synthetic. Now, what do you expect for a inexpensive fragrance? It's extremely inexpensive. So I do smell that it is synthetic. I don't mind that so much. Then once that kind of goes away and dies down, I smell the mango next. I smell the mango, then I smell the coconut. I also smell that jasmine. Now, the jasmine isn't super strong to me, but my sister is actually, she can't stand the jasmine note. I actually love a jasmine note. If it's too strong, it can lean a mature. But this one, I feel like it's perfectly blended. I don't smell the jasmine too much. Um, I smell the mango and the coconut more than anything. And then it kind of dries down to like a musky kind of vanilla. But I love it, love it, love it. It's a good one. I, I would say it's definitely worth the coin. It's very tropical, very fruity. Very delicious, girl. You're going to smell real yummy, yummy, yummy when you wear this, okay? So if you're into tropical fragrances, if you're into Arabian fragrances, if you're into saving a buck and getting the bang for your buck, boo, you want this.
Now this one is also a flanker. I think all of these, yeah, all of these fragrances are flankers of original fragrances, which is cool because, you know, if you did a good job, then why not do it again a little differently? But this one, I don't own anything from this line. And if uh, you watched my Ulta video, what I bought from the um, Ulta promo where they had the 10 times the points for diamond members, five times the points for plat platinum members. If you haven't watched that, please watch it. Oh, I think it's over here. I always mess that up. If you haven't watched that, please watch it now. Well, finish this one first, boo. Then go back and watch this one. Okay. So if you haven't seen that, you can see what I got at Ulta. So once I got those points into my account, I got like over $200 worth of points. So I decided that I was going to go ahead and pick up some fragrances. What else I'm going to buy? Okay. You know, I love me some fragrances. So this one, like I said, I don't own anything from this fragrance line, but I wanted to to own something from the fragrance line. But so far I hadn't smelled anything that was even worth me trying. So I went into the store and I was in Sephora. Sorry, on to girl. I was in Sephora and I smelled, I just happened to smell this fragrance. And I was like, wow, I actually like this one because I'm not the biggest fan of the other ones from the line. But this one, I was like, you know what? I can get down with this. And I actually had layered it with another fragrance that I had because I had something on already before I sprayed it. And so when I sprayed it, I was like, you know what? These two go together really good. And I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna pick this up with my points. So with my points, I went ahead and ordered this fragrance. It came in the mail. Girl, I smelled it and was like, what is this? This is not... This is not what I wanted, okay? And so I took it back to Ulta and I was like, um, I'm sorry, you know what? This is not what I smell. Maybe they had the wrong one out in the wrong place. Um, and so I saw that they had a new fragrance that had just been released, I think this month. And so I was like, let me smell that one. And that ended up being the one that I had originally smelled. So I was like, exchange exchange immediately please because i need this one and not that one so they went ahead and exchanged it for me and it came in the mail and i was so happy and that is her here she is this is lancome idole now now i don't know why they call it now because when somebody asks me what i'm wearing i'm gonna have to be like now what you wearing girl now who comes up with these names but anyway i'm so happy i have her let me out the plastic, hey. Okay, so I smelled the, um, I know what it smells like already, obviously, but look at it. These bottles are really interesting to me. They are really interesting to me. Um, I don't have anything like this. Like I said, I don't own anything from the line. But yeah, she's kind of cute. And thankfully, she will sit up. I don't have to lay her down. She will sit up, but I don't know how sturdy she's going to be, girl. But anyway, this one, this is the top. Let's spray her. You know it was new because when I, it wasn't coming out, girl. Ooh, I love that. Okay. She is very pretty, okay? I don't really like the other flankers. The uh, other flankers, the original Edole, she's okay to me, okay? But the flankers... It's the, the rose is too sharp. There's something sharp about the other flankers. This one is smooth. The rose is so smooth. The rose to me is much more youthful, much more fresh than the other Edole flankers. And also it's a bit more youthful and a bit more fresh than the original Edole as well. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but this is Edole now. It's a rose floral. It's vanilla, sweet, and powdery. That's what it's described as. Now, the notes on this, it's very simple, listed on Fragrantica. The notes are rose, orchid, and vanilla. That's it. That's what it says. Rose at the top, orchid in the middle, and vanilla at the bottom. And it's so pretty to me. Um, pre all of Lancome's fragrances that I've ever smelled have projection, baby. Their projections are beasts. Okay, their projections are beasts for Lancome. I think Lancome does a good job of formulating their fragrances to the point where they last long time, baby. They last for a long, long, long time. So I sprayed this one at seven o'clock too. Like I said, it's been um, six hours, right? 
it's still going strong. Actually, when I sprayed it this morning at seven o'clock, about eight o'clock, I had a, a doctor's appointment. So I went to the doctor's appointment and I wore my mask, girl, because them cases is rising and I'm not trying to be in the doctor's office and, and catch the you know what, okay? So I wore my mask and I could smell it through the mask. I, it was like two hours since I had sprayed it and I could still smell it through my mask. It was strong. It was a beast mode, girl. And I got about two compliments on this, but I really like it. Like I said, um, I'm glad that I own this. It's I love the bottle. It's so cute. I know some people don't really like it, but I love the bottle. It smells so good. And I am happy now I own a Langone fragrance because actually, if I think back, like one, one of the original fragrances that I used to love was called Lancome Tresor. And if y'all know Tresor, this was girl, this was back in the day, girl, but uh, don't age me. But I used to love Tresor. And so that was, I think the only, no, I used to, have miracle as well i have trace or and miracle but since then it's probably been about 20 years or almost 20 years since i've owned a lancome fragrance and now she is back in my collection lancome thank you girl for making idol now she's very pretty she's youthful but you know she's not she's not teeny bopper she's a grown woman but she's fresh and youthful and beautiful now this next one, I received this sample when I purchased the um, other fragrances that I got from Ulta with my points. And I received this sample and I'm not the biggest fan of this line, um, but like I said uh, previously with Lancome fragrances, baby be small girl. So this is Lancome La Vie Belle Iris Absolute. And this one was launched um, very recently as well. And so I actually used to own um, La Vie is Belle Intense, Intense Amon, I believe is how it's pronounced. I used to own that one, but to me, it's very, it's a bit more mature than I like, and it's so beast mode, okay? La Vie is Belle Intense Amon is extremely beast mode to the point where, girl, I was only spraying one time and I like to spray everywhere, okay? So I couldn't do that with that one. That one is a very, pretty fragrance but like I said it wasn't my favorite and so I ended up selling that one so when I got a sample of this one the La Via Bell Iris Absolute I was like you know what let me smell it okay let me see if maybe I like it now so this one this one I smell that iris okay so it's described as an iris woody sweet fruity earthy fragrance because um this has patchouli in it okay and the patchouli is patchouli in it's not as earthy as patchouli can usually be, but it's definitely there. She's there and she makes herself known. But I think this one is a little smoother, a tiny bit softer than the original La Via Belle and the original, um, not original, but the La Via Belle Intensement. It's a bit softer. It's a bit smoother. It's still, the projection is still there, baby. Okay, that projection is probably a nine. I would say the projection is a nine, um, but it's not as strong, okay? It's not gonna punch you in your gut, okay? It may, it may like caress your shoulder, maybe slap you on the back a little bit, but it's not gonna take you all the way out. I would say only spray one or two sprays though still, because like I said, the projection on Lancome fragrances, they don't play. Lancome does not play about projection. They do not play at all, okay? They're not going to play with you. You're going to get the bang for your buck when it comes to Lancome fragrances. But um, the notes on this are black currant, orange blossom, fig, um, orange blossom again, jasmine, iris, gourmand accord, and patchouli. And so when I first smell it, I smell that fig. I think that's why I like it so much. I better not buy this, girl. Don't make me buy it, Lancome. No. I smell that fig. I smell the gourmand accord. I smell the black currant. This, you know, they might have got me with the La Via Ville now with this Iris Absolute. Because the more I smell it, the more I like it. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> I like it. I think it's the Iris too that I'm smelling. It's very pretty. It's very feminine. Um... It's kind of, how do I, how could you even describe that? It's soft, but it's also bold. So I don't, I don't even know what to do, girl. Go get your nose on this. 
try it out and let me know what you think in the comments below this next one she is special girl she was also just released how did I learn about her? I think I learned about her on um, some of my fragrance groups that I follow on Instagram and on um, Facebook. And I love, I love this fragrance house, okay? And I love vanilla, okay? I feel like vanilla is so special because you can put it in almost anything or layer vanilla with almost anything and it's gonna smell amazing, okay? It's gonna smell super, super, super amazing. And so I learned about this one and I was like, you know what? I have a lot of vanillas in my collection. I have tons and tons of vanilla in my collection and I don't need no more, girl. Calm down, okay? Because you ain't making no money off of this stuff. You just spending your coin that you work hard for every day when you go to work. Okay. So maybe you should calm down. But when I got the points at Ulta, thank you, Ulta girl. Thank you. When I got my points, I was like, you know what? I already knew what I was getting. When I saw them points loading to my account, I knew I was getting this because I don't think I probably would have spent this much on it if I didn't have the points. But I got it for free. And so I'm glad that I got it. This, this is. Burberry Goddess. Can y'all see that? I can't tell. But this is a lavender vanilla fragrance, okay? Look at her. She looked like a goddess, don't she? She looked like a straight up goddess, like, like, like Greek mythology. Like she's a Greek goddess, okay? That's what this looks like. It's so, so pretty to me. Like I said, it's described as a lavender vanilla and the notes are vanilla lavender cacao ginger vanilla caviar okay the base is vanilla so this one look at the top it's so cute actually i love this top and it's really secure girl you ain't gonna lose it <laughs> gonna need a little bit of muscle to pull that off there we go so let's spray her i've already smelled her but i want to smell it with you and let's go over the what i'm smelling when you first spray her, you get slapped in the face with ginger, okay? That ginger is spicy and it's strong right in the beginning. Then after that kind of wears off, you get the lavender. Now, I've said this a thousand times, I'm not the biggest fan of lavender fragrances. Lavender is not my favorite note in fragrances, but I do think it's a unique fragrance because usually lavender is in male fragrances. But this one, when I first smelled it in the store, okay, so I went to the, uh, I think I was shopping around in Macy's and I saw her. I'm like, oh, let me smell you, girl. Let me see. Because it was so much hype about her. So I smelled it and I wasn't the biggest fan because to me, sometimes lavender smells like bug spray. I said it. Lavender smells like bug spray to me. <laughs> I'm sorry if y'all love lavender. No shade, no hate. You like what you like. It is what it is. But to me, that's what it smells like. So when I smelled it, I was like, you know what? It's something about it that I really like. But you know what? I'm not going to waste my money on it. I'm just, I could do without it. Um, but I was walking around the store and I was shopping. And I always try to wait until fragrances dry down all the way. Because that's when you really can tell if you're going to like it or not, right? So then I started smelling it again. And it smells so pretty. It softened up to this beautiful lavender vanilla fragrance. Mostly vanilla. Now, if I had to compare it to something when it died down, I would say it's similar, not the same, but similar to um, Vanilla Woods by Seven Virtues. But that lavender gives it something different, girl. It's not those. It's not those. I feel like if you like vanilla and if you like lavender, you will love this. If you like ginger, you will love this. This is a beautiful fragrance. It's not super, super complex, but it is beautiful. I actually sprayed this one at seven o'clock too. I had, I got different spots all over that I was spraying stuff. This one is still there. Again, this is not super complex. Well, it's compliment, complex enough to me. This is not a bee small fragrance, but it's also not a skin scent. So like how Sweet Tooth, I would say, is a skin scent. Somebody going to have to be right up on you to smell you. So it's good for um, being in intimate settings, maybe a house party where y'all playing games and just joking around or whatever. 
that is perfect for that or for going to bed this one is perfect for that as well this one is perfect for um maybe a date night maybe something where you don't want to be super be small but you want to have a nice scent trail like when you walk by you want them to know that you was there okay they're gonna know you was there with this she's super pretty she's super duper beautiful she she dries down like kind of like a spicy vanilla that's probably a good way to describe it it's a spicy vanilla i love it so much like i said I got this with my points. I knew I was getting her as soon as my points loaded. I was like, let me go right now. <laughs> and I actually wanted to um, just go pick her up in the store because I could not wait. I was, girl, I couldn't wait. I wanted it right now, immediately. I wanted it right then and there, but they were having a promo to where if you buy it online, you get a free gift. So I went ahead, I was like, let me be patient. So I got this travel bag from them. I got this travel bag from them, it's super cute. And then I also got a free mini. I got a free mini as well. Oh, look at her, she's adorable. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give this away um, to someone who would appreciate it because I mean, this is, this is enough. I'm not gonna be able to even get through this probably. So I'll probably give the other one away, but yeah, she's beautiful. She really does make you smell like a goddess, honey. I feel like a goddess when I spray this. So yeah, this is Burberry Goddess. So yeah, those are the newly released fragrances that I picked up recently and I love them all. Okay, I keep it real with you around here if I didn't like them. I will tell you and I think you know that. <laughs> so thank you again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, click the notification bell, all of those good things. Thank you so much. And until next time, I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you.